What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're doing some online uh, open lobbies on F1 2017. It's been a while since I've done this so I thought I'd scrounge up a video and uh, we'll see what happens. We're doing two races, one around Bahrain and then one at Austria I believe. Both 25% races so we'll get some pretty clean racing but um, before we get into things just want to say a massive apology about the lack of videos lately. I've been trying to get F1 2006 career mode out but I've been having a lot of issues recording that series. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that can come sometime soon. But uh, we'll have to wait and see how that goes. But here we go, ready for the start of this race. Five red lights for the Bahrain Grand Prix. And we are underway from 20th place on the grid. Equal cars. Everyone has whatever assist they want to use. And uh, we're just going to see how far up the grid we can get. Because, uh, yeah, AOR is coming up. This is one of the time trial tracks that I've got to use to uh, get fast around this Grand Prix circuit. So I thought, let's do a little bit of practice and uh, kill two birds with one stone, uh, shall we say. But we negotiate the first couple of corners. I think a few people there were thinking that I switched it to the short layout because they were turning right just after that first, second, third and fourth corner complex. Uh, but no, that wasn't the case. We already find ourselves up in a P13, so um, crucially for us as well, like, we don't have any damage. Um, that's what I was trying to really take away from this first lap. We have damage. Benjamin, do you have damage? Yes is the answer. Unbelievable. Let's get on with it. Okay, we're not we're not gonna get too we're not gonna get too downbeat about it. It's not a league race. Thank goodness it is not a league race. I, I don't think the quality of driving like this would not be seen in a league race, or at least I hope not. As uh, more contact is made with that Force India, and we've damaged both sides of our end plate. But we're into the pits now. At the end of the first lap, we're gonna put on the soft compound tires, and hopefully run to the end of the race. I think we can do that in a 25% race. Um, tires gonna be pretty worn at the end, but we're gonna get. A massive, massive undercut on everyone else. Uh, we were previously racing as we get held in the pits for a Red Bull, which is not that great. But if we have a clean race from here, if we just push maximum attack, I think we can still come away with a good result. I think like top five would be great. So as we rejoin on the track, we're absolutely blasting in some uh, purple sectors. We caught up to the back of Chimcha, who is actually a ASR driver. Might be SRL and AOR as well, so he's a pretty decent driver. We managed to get around the outside of him and uh, into P11. Um, nice move in the end. There's a bit of contact as well as we head into the triple left-hander, um, but Chimcha relinquishes the position. So pretty happy to get that move done on a, on a solid driver in the lobby. He was on medium tyres, of course, which definitely made things easier for us, but um, we're getting on with our race now, as you can see. Lap 4. We focused in on the driver's setup. It went from two wings to six wings. So when that happens, it means your setup has been reset to the default setup, which is, again, another one of those massive glitches that is really annoying in the F1 game. Hopefully that doesn't happen in our league races. I haven't had that happen all too much, maybe once or twice, but um, this was a big problem in this race and also in the next race. I, I had my setup reset like two or three times. It was absolutely ridiculous. But we're getting on with this race now. We now find ourselves up in a P2. Just putting in those really solid laps and uh, we find ourselves at the end of the race uh, pretty much holding on to that position. We um, chased down the margin to Expert Almond when we came out of the pits. The gap was like 16 seconds when we initially got into P2. We managed to halve that margin down to 8.6 and with a three second time penalty for the leader it meant that we only finished five seconds behind in the end so um damage limitation but it almost turned into a race win which uh was absolutely mad the pace you know it wasn't that great in that race i think the consistency more than anything is what got me over the line there in p2 um just managing those tires to the end it was uh, actually quite difficult. So Expert Almond wins the Grand Prix, myself P2, Lil Rai, who I believe is a league racer himself as well in P3. He was keeping me honest um, for the final 10 laps. You didn't really see it, but he uh, emerged just behind us after his pit stop and um, he was quite tough to keep behind. But we're now moving on to the second race now here at the Austrian Grand Prix. 
Uh, for this one, just like Bahrain, I actually don't have a setup, so I'm kind of just winging it uh, on the fly. I think I might go with three eight wings, lower the front anti-roll bar, and we'll lower the uh, ballast down to 10, just to make it a little bit more drivable over the course of the distance. But five red lights for the Austrian Grand Prix, again from last place on the grid. Let's see what we can do, hopefully this time. Hopefully, hopefully this time. There is no damage on the first lap. I was cautious in the last race. I'm going to be extra more cautious in this one to make doubly sure we can run uncompromised in this race and potentially take out that race win. So already after turn one, uh, avoiding all the shenanigans, we find ourselves up in a P10. Someone was diving up my inside there. I saw, I saw the red arrow come flying in. So I thought, let's open the steering a little bit and leave him some space. And uh, he actually didn't overtake me in the end there. So still, it's P10. With maybe a little look up the inside of the Force India into turn three, I think we might have just got that position. But he gets better traction off the exit and gets that position back. So nice driving there from the Force India. He's now going up the inside of the Red Bull driver. We're going to see if we can follow him through as well. He's compromised. Has to take a sharper line. Gets it all wrong through the second half of that lap. And we get a, a, a two for one deal there. Um, in the fast left-hander, and that is us up in a P8 briefly before we move into P7 at the end of the first lap, so... Man. Crazy scenes, these open lobbies. If you just keep it clean, uh, pick your right moments, it's amazing how quickly you can find yourself moving up through the field. Starting P18, I think it was. We're now up in a P6. After one and a half laps. Make that P4. In a carbon copy of what happened on the last lap. That's... That's amazing. But as we come on to the end of lap three now, we now find ourselves at the pointy end already. And when that happens, things tend to become a little bit harder, a little bit more difficult uh, to progress your way through the field. People want to hold on to positions a little bit more. We set the fast lap of the Grand Prix on the last lap as well at 1 minute 8.6. And uh, we're really putting this epic guy under pressure. We'll see possibly where his strengths and weaknesses are. You can see he's actually quite weak uh, as we head up the hill here. He's going defensive into turn two. We're going to go around the outside here and see if we can get the better traction. Uh, early on the power, correcting the oversteer. That's how you know you're on the limit, is when you're on the power really early and you're having to correct a slide on the exit, getting the absolute maximum out of the car, and that was a really nice move. Are you serious? Legal overtake for that. And we're going to... Five second stop go penalty for ignoring yellow flags on a guy who was not even in the race. It was a lap down as well, no less. But going back to that overtake at turn two, that was actually really nice. Really uh, proud of that one. And uh, who knows, we may use that one on this uh, NASCAR 412414 guy uh, to potentially get into the lead of the Grand Prix. I think we'll, go, we'll, we'll have to do that because now we have a five second stop go penalty. Uh, we need to bridge the gap as much as we can. We're actually going up the inside this time into turn two. Um, grazing in the side pods, but he manages to hold on. I feel like it's it's actually better to overtake around the outside at th through turn two because you can get the better exit onto the straight, and it just sets you better. It sets you up better for the second half of the lap. So that's what we'll try and do. But like I said, we need to get in front of this guy. We're going to lose the lead after the pit stop, and then we'll have to re-overtake him at the end there. So whatever ground we can make up now is going to be absolutely golden, but that's a three-second time penalty heading our way. An opportunity presented itself through the final corner, up the inside. We take the lead of the Grand Prix, but now we have eight seconds worth of penalties to kind of you know, accommodate for. We've got the three second time penalty to be applied at the end of the race. Because we haven't made a pit stop yet, we'll be held for five seconds in this one for that stupid, stupid illegal overtake penalty. But we're serving it now. This feels like the longest five seconds in my life. Onto the super soft tires. Um, this may even bring other people into the game as well who were maybe just behind us, who were fast, who got a bad um, start to the race. Sierra Rosberg moves into P2. That's exactly someone who could capitalize on our mistakes there. But we actually managed to stay in front of NASCAR. He either had a front wing change or he had a five second stop go penalty himself because the margin was exactly the same as we came out of the pits. But Zero Rosberg here, he's on the soft compound tires, which is the hardest of the three available at the Austrian Grand Prix. He is a, a very fast driver, I believe. He was in the top five for the Japan event for the F1 2017 event at Codemasters 
like a week or two ago, so we know he's fast. But in an open lobby scenario, uh, where we all just jump into it and don't have practice, it's a good equaliser, and I really feel like we can get him, especially given that we are on the super soft tyre. So we'll see what we can do. Rich revs, um, slipstream doesn't seem to be that potent as we head through turn one. We've been following him now for a few laps now, trying to set this up. We went dangerously close to running into the back of him. I think we were literally pushing him through turn one. That's how close we were going. And now we're putting Sierra Rosberg under pressure. He goes round. He goes defensive, sorry. And we have to go round the outside. Mind my English. As we go through turn two, that's exactly what I wanted him to do. Open the DRS, and that is us into the lead of the Austrian Grand Prix. If he would have made me overtake him up the inside, I would have been able to get the position, but I don't think I would have had the same drive to actually hold on to it. And so, with that lapse of judgment, we now take the lead of the Grand Prix, but we have three seconds worth of time penalties uh, for corner cutting still yet to account for. So. The gap to Rosberg, it's 1.3 seconds at the moment. We're pushing on as much as we can. Um, getting low on fuel now, so we had to conserve a little bit as we head on to uh, the final lap. The gap is now 4.5 seconds, but I believe I accumulated a second, three second time penalty, and then another warning uh, just to add on top of that. But there we go, across the line. Do we win the race? We'll have to wait and see, and see whether Rosberg gets us uh, based on time penalties. I believe he's crossed the line and he's still five seconds behind. So that tells me that he had two time penalties of his own there. So there you go. We won the race. Essentially, last to first at the Austrian Grand Prix. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to see plenty more F1 2017 videos. My ghost car there was taking everyone out. I was out of fuel and everyone else was still racing it full speed but thankfully there were AI cars as well that were getting taken out not people still in the race but uh, there we go if you want to see more videos like this be sure to let me know um, I haven't done many open lobbies as of yet uh, lately um, since doing league racing stuff uh, I was actually going to do a Forza 7 lobby um, in place of this video today but I, I was literally waiting for like five six hours for Forza 7 to install on my Xbox I had to think of something last minute to do, and this was it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. Forza 7 videos will be coming fairly soon. I'll be doing some fun challenges, and um, it should be a whole lot of fun. So until then, thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye. When the lights go down.